Hi, hello, this is Nintega Dario. I am interviewing our new announcer for Smash Ultra. Please introduce yourself, even though you did it in the last trailer. Hello, it's me, Bionic101, and I do voices for many so things. Fine. Okay, so let's start with the questions. First question, how does it feel to be the first and official announcer for Smash Ultra? It feels really exciting. I always wanted to be the announcer for Smash Brothers mod. I never got the chance because my Wii exploded. But now, since you arrived, you've opened a door for me to actually voice for something great. Funny you should say that. I'm on my third one. <laughs> <laughs> I have my Wii, like, on top of, like, a shelf, just treasured, just gone, just exploded. <laughs> yeah, still... my first one, my first one actually broke because it was in storage. It worked a little while, but, I mean, at one point, just stopped working. The other one was ruined because of an action replay. Action replay? Yeah, it went read Super Smash Brothers. Ah, uh, that sucks. All right, on to the second question. On to the second one. I say... What inspired you to... Oh, great, I'm knocking off that Australian accent. <laughs> <laughs> what inspired you to follow the footsteps in voice acting? I'm pretty sure you get this feeling, let me tell you. All right, you know when you watch, like, a cartoon or an anime or something, and you just hear something really cool, and it'll, you just want to repeat it over and over? Yeah. That's pretty much how I got into voice acting. I just, like... When I saw, like, Mario's fundamentals or game galleries, depending on which region you live in, I just copied Mario's voice and, like, hmm, maybe I could do it. Of course, I was, like, really, like, like horrible at it at first, but then I just kept on doing it until, like, hey, let me expand out into more voices I could possibly do. It sounds cool, so why not say it? I was like a copy machine with voices, and I just couldn't stop. I eventually... Was, oh, sorry. <laughs> it's fine. I eventually, like, got a rock band microphone, and I just did band dubs and whatnot on YouTube at first. <laughs> nice! <laughs> I mean, I've been doing Mario for a while, but it, I mean, I haven't really mastered it, even though it's been like, I think, five years, ten years. I don't even know how, like, I don't know how to explain, like, how I can do Mario's voice. It's just weird. In a good I, know it's, I know it's something from the back of your throat. Eat, wheat, fool. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, just, but... You have to open up, like, you have to open up your throat and you have to talk like it. Oh. You have to keep doing this. Make it sound smooth. And I'm just messing it up. This is what I am right now. <laughs> I'm slurring out my words right now. Yes, I am human, people. <laughs> we come in peace. On to the third question. What do you find in a fighting game that builds up hype for you? Hmm, what do I find in a fighting game that builds hype for me? Hmm, I'd say the tension in the thought of like, how am I gonna beat this character? Like, is he gonna block? Like, if he blocks, what will I do next? There's like so many things going around in your head. It's like basically like Iron Man when he pulls up his computer. It's like all that to me. <laughs> I just have to figure out, like, what am I gonna do? If I do this, will he counter my move? It's basically like chess, in a more tedious way, with tension. First time I ever saw a fighting game, I just thought, where should I punch this guy? <laughs> He's like, oh, this button's a kick move, huh, so I can kick him, and this move's like a hard hit. <laughs> I remember the first time I played Melee, holy shit, everyone was kicking the crap at me, and I, I think I was around six. I think I was around, huh, I think, uh, I don't even remember how, it was very long ago. But I played Smash Brothers 64 when my friend brought it over, and I'm like, oh my god, it has Mario and Donkey Kong and Pikachu all in the same... I was like, my mind was blown from it. I'm like, this is so amazing. And then, uh, like, two years later, I saw Smash Brothers Melee. I'm like, oh my god, the graphics! Because back then, graphics were, like, a big thing to me. Except for Fox. <laughs> Fox looked too real. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> The I like the 64 design better, though. All polygon. I don't know why. It just seems a bit more tolerable. Yeah, and to think we almost got more characters. Yeah, let's add a Star Fox character and remove him in the next game. <laughs> Makes sense. Although I am happy with the cast in Smash 4. Dude, over 50 characters. What's not to love? <laughs> I just hope Paper Mario makes it in. You know, that's a funny thing, because I voted him on the Smash ballot. Same here. We I need can more find... 2D characters. Yeah. Mr. Gamer Watching needs a friend. <laughs> <laughs> and plus, his moveset, like, would be very great to, like, innovate on. Yeah, based on, like, his partners from previous installments. But a lot of people were complaining about too many Mario characters. Like, so what? It's variety, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> They're just seeing it from the clone perspective, I think. I don't... Paper Mario couldn't be a clone. Even, even if they tried. They did it with Brawl. I well, mean, as a mod. <laughs> I mean that, yeah. I still enjoyed it. It's Paper Show. Mario. And now, speaking of Paper Mario, the Mario & Luigi Paper Jam game. I'm hyped. I That's always it. wanted to see, like, those two come together. And same here. It's Ever happening. since I was in your dorm, all, I was just thinking, I wonder what would happen if the Mario universe came with the 
flat universe and just bundled up into one. It's, it may not be like a genuine Paper Mario game, but I'm gonna enjoy it regardless. I love the Mario and Luigi series. Mario and Luigi! The only concern is Paper Mario's animations. Ever since he reached that portable perspective. <laughs> Sticker Star? He's all yeah. like moving all like low frame per second. <laughs> he does One move frame. He does move like smoothly in some parts of the trailer. I know that's what find that's what I find off. We'll have to wait and see. Okay. On to question <laughs> four. Where do you think this game will go for the uh future wise, Smash Ultra? Will it reach the hype level of Project M or maybe beyond or maybe lower? Please be honest. Hmm. From what I've seen so far, it has a lot of mods and it's different. Project M, it's, an, it's a melee game, basically, <laughs> that you can just update and update with the developers. I don't like melee as much, mainly because of the fact that that game was really broken with technical like moves from like L canceling. Please hate me or don't hate me. Please don't. <laughs> Still do that in the Wii U and 3DS version but you gotta use a badge. But I do like Project M, but I do like Smash Ultra. I like variety of different mods. Yeah, it's pretty much, I thought of it in this sort of perspective. Each character overpowered in their own unique way. And I like, I saw, like I saw your trailer and I like how Flood was on his back. I always wanted the Flood to be like out and about like that. And like Mario has a different running animation, not like his Smash. Yeah, I, I based that off of Super Mario 64. I like that. It was like basically his running animation from Smash Brothers 64. It was wasn't too leaning forward. I like that. It has potential. I have no idea what to say. <laughs> I'm speechless. <laughs> it's just the small things that make it like great. And I plus like. you got that addition of um, YouTubers. Oh, Russ Mars and the- uh, um, Me and Russ Mars go way back. Doesn't it have um, 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 Super Mario or SMG4 from- uh, or something like that. I've seen hacks or something like that. Yeah, but my game doesn't really have SMG4. I pretty much put people I've actually talked to or have gotten in contact with in that game. So I put like the Game Grumps. I've gotten in and uh, Markiplier. I haven't gotten in contact with him, but I've gotten in contact with his friends Bob and Wade. See, that is unique in its own way. Having like YouTubers in Smash. <laughs> Too bad I basically... could PK Sparks in. But... Wait, you don't know who PK Sparks is? I think I've heard of him before he goes yo <laughs> hmm i may have to check him out later he's the one known as the black mario oh blue hat does he wear blue it's a black hat and it has a red p as his symbol but he has a 2d animation for his artwork right or something like that i, I may be know. confused with someone else i mean he I've gotten him to play Yoshi Party, uh, another mod I was creating just for the hell of it. I'm like, we got Yoshi's Woolly World, why not just make Yoshi Party? I wanted to play Yoshi's Woolly World. I'll get it sometime eventually. It's in English! Release it in America! <laughs> <laughs> hey, right. Yoshi! All I can do is old voice. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, the Super Mario World sound effect. I was just playing that. Yeah, Yoshi just had something stuck in his throat over the years. I ditched Yoshi and then he actually fell into a pit of lava. I never actually like ditched him into a pit of lava, but it's it it looked painful because he was like slowly melting into the fire. Ooh. I felt really bad. <laughs> You're getting a little bit of Luigi's Mansion in there. Luigi's Mansion, I wish they made it for a console, but like yeah, Miyamoto I wish, said. I, I wish Dark Moon was for Wii U. Alright, final question. The final question. What are your opinions on the new Mario Tennis game technically taking the name of this project after three years of development so far? Do you feel like, like, when N Nintendo released that game at E3, did you feel a little bit disappointed when they kind of took your name but reversed eh, the name backwards? I'm like, wow, what another coincidence because in Super Smash Bros, when the game was called Smash at the time, it wasn't called Smash Ultra, they named the mode Smash. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, okay, I can see where Nintendo's going with this. And then we get Mario Tennis Ultra Smash. Okay, something smells fishy. And it's even in gray font. I liked what they did with Mario Power Tennis. I don't think they shouldn't have, like, made it different after that because that game was already great. There was gimmicks and it was, like, sort of balanced. Of course, the games would go on forever if you were, like, the two players were good. But I Mario do like the power-ups. Hell yeah, Mario Tennis is um, Power Tennis is my favorite. Same I have, here. I have the Wii one, but I don't have the GameCube one. But I can tell you what I do have every single one of. 
I'm a freak when it comes to Mario Party. You have every Mario Party game? Including E. That's insane. I can't keep a Mario Party game for my life, but I do enjoy my favorite one for the GameCube was four. My favorite one on the N64 was Mario Party 3. Oh! Where you had the uh, companions in the mini game. I like that a lot. Yeah, I love that. And plus there was a mode where uh, you got like a giant mushroom and you had to, cr to crush your opponents. That was my favorite mini game. And then you kept crashing into the wall. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, come on, we're over here. You can stop whenever you want. I think that was the game where Luigi actually had uh, his voice changed or something. Same thing with Wario. Yeah, change it from Yeah! <laughs> uh, old times, I missed them. Nostalgia! And pudding! Gotta love... No, wait, what about cheesecake? Cheesecake oh. is my favorite. I get cheesecake whenever I can. Oh, cheesecake, you're so nice. You're so creamy. You're so cheesy. Well, not cheesy, but delicioso. No, wait, I'm not Spanish. And you're making me KFC. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Awkward silence. <laughs> I hear crickets. No. Oh, yeah, that's me. Those are the things I go, <laughs> Got bugs having seizures outside. <laughs> But I'm, I'm gonna wait for that Mario Tennis game. I'm gonna see more gameplay on it. And if it like does capture the feeling of Mario Power Tennis, I'm definitely gonna get it. But There's if... something suspicious about that game though, I see. It looks like they reused the models from Mario Kart 8. Where Mario has a, well, I don't see his mustache bouncing around or his hair particles, <laughs> but I do like, I do like it, like visual yeah. wise. If you looked at the 3D world model, like outside of the game, it's friggin' like a CGI model. Uh, one of my friends, Duvad, uh, who did the They Live in a Castle with Mega Man 765. When's that series gonna start? I've been waiting, what, three years? He's been procrastinating and he's, pl he's playing Splatoon and everything else <sighs> i guess i play smash brothers like on a daily basis i mean my favorite short had to be what makes me scream oh uh, the toads it was hilarious like oh you guys you gotta fly in your face ah! <laughs> and he just falls ah! off the bridge <laughs> i love toads <laughs> i can't do them now because my mouth's not moist it's what she said oh i need water Awkward silence. Here it goes. Do -do 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 -do. Ouch. Oh, I'm back. Welcome back. So, I mean, are we still recording or? You want to wrap this up? Yeah. Let's oh. wrap up this bitch. Oh, you're not rated D. You're rated M. Or T. Or I don't know. Shadow got away with it. <laughs> Damn, not here. Damn, they got away. Where's that? Damn, fourth chaos. Emerald. Up your ass. <laughs> well, without further ado, this concludes our interview. Thank you for coming. No problem. The questions was... are actually pretty interesting. I like it. I mean, we gotta, we gotta still have a conversation after this thing ends, right? <laughs> and... Cut. Dane. Yes.